In this video, we are going to take a look at this question. Is it possible to have a triangle with area and perimeter both equal to 12? Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. Before I start writing the solution, I need to first make an educated guess on the answer to this problem, as in, is it a yes or a no? The reason that I have to do this is that if it's a yes, then I will have to proceed with finding an example to, to, this, to this case where the, we uh, like to construct such a triangle and to calculate its area. But if it's a no, then I'll have to prove it, like why we can't find such a triangle. So my guess would be a no, because for, per for a triangle with perimeter equal to 12, it should have the largest area when I take the equilateral case, as in all sides equal to 4. Then the area will be root 3 over 4 times the length squared, like 4 squared. Then it's 4 root 3, which is roughly 6.928, and it's way less than 12. So it seems that all triangles with perimeter equal to 12 will have area smaller than 12. Then to write a formal argument, I'm going to establish an inequality between the area of a triangle and the perimeter of a triangle. Okay. So, and in particular, I, I should also prove that uh, if I fix the perimeter, then I'll have the largest area when the triangle is equilateral. So, the only thing that connects perimeter and area would be the Heron's formula. So in general, if I have side lengths A, B, and C, and the semi-perimeter is S, then the area will be, so if I say, not area, but if I let A be the area, then it's S times the product of the semi-perimeter minus each side length. Okay, so I minus A minus B minus C, and then I multiply them all together. So now the perimeter is fixed, and I want to try to like maximize the area. So let me like write it like this. So I can remove them, the square root sign. Now, the way I'm going to justify that um, equilateral triangles have the greatest area given the perimeter is that I'm going to run this, um, maybe I should say algorithm, is that if I have a triangle, say of side length A, B, and C, I'm going to compare it with and I solve the triangle by fixing the base. Or well, the two sides are the same. So that means for a for size AB, I'm going to replace that by two equal sides, A plus B over two, A plus B over two. Then the new area would be actually s times s minus a plus b over 2, same expression, and s minus c. So we can compare these two expressions. Now, notice that for this expression, derived from the, from the red one, minus s minus a times s minus b, then it's just these three terms for the squared. Now for the product at the back, we have the same first two terms, but for the last one is plus AB. So A plus B over two all squared minus AB. And it's clearly perfect squared as well, which means it's non-zero. So that means I can always get a larger area 
by by we we consider another triangle with two of the sides being the same. Okay, of course this process can go on and on and eventually we will have an equilateral triangle having the largest area. So this is the idea. Now, but however, this is not rigorous enough because we can't just say, oh, by repeating this process, okay, this, this argument only gives me an in an idea, okay, strengthens my um, my belief on whether um, equilateral triangle would give the largest area. We have to prove it formally. So here's the proof. So let's return to the formula for finding area, the Heron's formula. So we we'll go back to this with S fix, of course. Now for this, I can rewrite that as by rewriting S equals A plus B plus C over 2, then they will have a lots of um, halves inside the expression. Now take them all out, it becomes 1 over 16. And so Fixing the perimeter, we actually have one fourth square root of a plus b plus c, and then the rest would be. I can actually write that as less than or equal to a plus b plus c, not plus c, but minus c plus a plus c minus b plus b plus c minus a all divided by 3, all cubed. This is actually the AMGM inequality on this product. Now the magic is inside the large set we actually have a plus b plus c all divided by 3, all cubed. So, putting everything together, we have a plus b plus c all squared. We have 1 half power in the first bracket and then 3 halves power next to it. And then, all, and then this squared divided by 4 times 3 times root 3. So we have the perimeter squared over 12 root 3. Now that means, therefore, we can conclude that for all triangles, we have area to be less than or equal to perimeter all squared over 12 times root 3. And equality holds when the triangle is equilateral. This appears because we want these three terms one, two, and three to be equal. And for that to be equal, we must have a equals B equals C. And from this inequality, we know that we can't have area and perimeter to be both equal to 12 because for perimeter equal to 12 over here, you can easily calculate that the area is indeed less than or equal to 4 root 3. So it is really impossible.